Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Mira Reisberg from the Children's Book Academy and I'm really excited because we're starting this new series of video reviews called Quick Peaks. And the very first one we're going to do is this one, Blood Diaries, Tales of a Sixth Grade Vampire by Marissa Moss. So who re remembers the torturous middle, middle school years? of feeling totally uncool, less than popular, and pretty much insecure about just about everything. This is Edgar Stoker's life, but the twist is, he's a sixth grade vampire with a big secret. We get to know how he doesn't fit in at school because he's nerdy and uncool and weird, and how he doesn't fit in with his family because he wants to go to middle grade school and he wants to be normal and he wants to have friends and, you know, human friends. And, and all of that is just totally uncool with vampires. Apart from the vampire bit, I think we can all pretty much relate. I certainly can. In addition to creating a character that we can relate to and care about, something that's really important in children's books, the book is also really funny. Mom's parents are classic creepy vampires, the kind you see in old black and white movies. Dad's are a strange mix of vampire and Midwestern comfortable. Granny Stoker, always knitting bat booties. Gramp Stoker, pick a card, any card. <laughs> always practicing hokey card tricks. My uncles, aunts and cousins are a big blend of styles, but they all have one thing in common. They're cool vampires, the kind everyone admires, fears and respects. Even regular people who don't know they're vampires can tell there's something special about them. In other words, they're the opposite of me. So it's really sweet, um, it's really fun, there's a lot of great word choices in it and it also has deeper meaning in that it subtly addresses issues of prejudice and bigotry and ostracization and you know digging deeper than the surface of things where maybe being cool is not that cool after all. Now I want to share a little about the tools of the trade that Marissa uses. Marissa pretty much invented the children's main character diary format back in the 1990s with the Amelia books and she uses it to great effect in Blood Diaries. She also uses wordplay throughout, beginning with a pun on Gothic writers names Edgar Allan Poe and Bram Stoker in naming Edgar Stoker. And this continues throughout the book. Edgar has a distinctive voice and the great alliterative language choices, while the first person point of view gives the book an immediacy, a playful appeal and a sense of accessibility. I laughed out loud, I was touched, and I just plain loved this book. So, it's two thumbs up for Blood Diaries, Tales of a Sixth Grade Vampire by Marissa Moss. Bye for now.